Greetings all, I am still at Aquino Weekend up at the Oshawa Ontario Regiment Museum. I have found a unique vehicle, which I honestly did not expect to ever see rolling around in North America. And standing next to me from CFB Borden is Colin, who is going to tell me a little bit more about how this vehicle ended up here and rolling, of all things. How it came to North America is a little bit of a question mark. Uh, when it comes to the research involved in it, um, some of the paperwork for some of the vehicles in the foreign material collection is very clear. This vehicle is a bit of a question because uh, there's nothing in the uh, paperwork from the 40s that says an M1441 came to Canada. With this one, we think it was likely misidentified when it came out of North Africa in 1944 as an L640. Once we found the paperwork, we were very surprised to learn that it had been re-engined and that it was a runner. Now, it, it certainly, um, you know, it's not combat worthy in the, in the condition that it's in, but it is capable of rolling under its own power. So the Fiat Ansaldo, this would have, with, with Canadians would not have encountered this one in North Africa, but maybe in the Italian campaign? There was a program during the Second World War where Canadian uh, officers and NCOs were going and serving with British formations in North Africa for about a three month period. Mm -hmm. So some of them may well have come into contact right. with them there. We were talking about a riveted vehicle with a 47 millimeter gun going up against Shermans. Yes. You need a little bit of testicular fortitude to go up on one of these things against a Sherman. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so if you have a look inside, you, you got hatches are open, so you're displaying the interior. Are you going to fit out the interior at all? The, a lot of the interior in these ones um, is actually done up out of wood. It, if it was properly fitted out, there's four machine guns. There's two bow machine guns, a coax, and a, an anti-aircraft one. And all of them are mag-fed, and all of the mag racks are made out of wood and basically line the sides, line the inside of the turret. If you want to see the only semi-running Italian tank in North America, come to the Ontario Regiment Museum. Thank you very much, Colin. No problem. <laughs>